RoboMaster S1 Tutorial Solo Mode Open the RoboMaster app, go to Solo, then tap the icon on the top left of the screen to enter Solo Mode. There are two Solo Mode options, Target Practice and Target Race. Target Practice In Target Practice Mode, players need to hit as many of the designated vision markers as possible before time runs out. The player with the highest score wins. Prepare the vision markers numbered 1 through 5. Place the vision markers in the game area as shown in the video. The marker should be about 2 meters away from the S1. After practice has begun, random targets and a countdown will be shown on the FPV page. Players need to hit all the targets before time runs out. Align the sight with the vision marker. The S1 will identify vision markers automatically. Hits will be registered when players tap the launch button to hit the target. Players will gain 100 points after successfully hitting a target and will pass each level after hitting all the targets. There are five levels in total. As the levels increase, the countdown time becomes shorter and players need to shoot more targets during the allotted time. You can set the S1 and only rotate the gimbal and chassis to hone your firing skills in practice. The score will be shown after the game is finished. The ranking is listed based on score. Players can continue to practice and update their record with improved scores. Multiple users can play on one S1 and mobile device with individual player names. Target Race This mode tests a player's ability to control the S1. Players need to arrive at the vision marker's position as soon as possible and strike down the markers. Prepare the vision markers numbered 1 through 5. As shown in the video, place the vision markers in the gameplay area to complete racetrack setup. Before starting the race, you can change the firing mode and vision marker settings. If the firing mode is infrared beam, then players need to hit all virtual markers. If the firing mode is gel beads, then players need to strike down the vision markers. After the race starts, the targets and time will be shown on the top of the screen. Players need to strike down all the targets as soon as possible. After a target has been struck down, its number and the strike time will be shown on the right side of the screen. The race finishes after all targets have been struck down. After the race is over, the elapsed time will be shown on the list. The less time the player spent, the higher the player ranking. Multiple users can play on one S1 and mobile device in turns to compete for the highest ranking. Players can arrange the racetrack and write a program to fire while racing. Set the program as custom skill and then trigger it so that the S1 can perform the task automatically. Now you know how to use the RoboMaster S1 in solo mode. Hit the like button if this tutorial was helpful. If you need any support with your DJI gear, feel free to contact us via Facebook Messenger by following the link in the description. Thank you for watching.